Okay, so if you have to if you have to find the amount in a word problem uh, with continuous exponential decay model, it's a nerdy way of saying this equation, and that's a a, a sub zero. Okay, I'm gonna try to make that more clear. It's e times r times uh, e to the r times t power. That's an exponent there. Okay, so the amount you have is going to be equal to the amount you started times e to the rate times time power. Okay, so we got a biologist that has a 2,449 gram sample of a radioactive substance. Find the mass of the sample after three hours. <clears throat> so it sounds like it's starting at 2,449 grams. And then we're supposed to find the amount after three hours. And notice time doesn't have to be a certain uh, measurement. It doesn't have to be in years or months or anything like that. We're just going to remember our answers in terms of hours. So after three hours, if it decreases according to a continuous exponential decay model at a rate of 8% per hour. Okay, exponential decay though. Uh, we're going to need a negative sign on this. Okay, um, because if you check out Maybe it'll help to look at the graph. So e to the first power, make an equation y equals, actually let's keep it a variable, y equals e to the x, y e, that's, a, that's an exponential growth model, right? It's going up over time. And if you do y equals e to the negative x, that's a better measurement of decay. That's showing something declining over time, going down over time. So that's why I had to add that extra negative sign. So watch out for your problem. Your problem on Alex might be positive or it might be negative. Okay. So I had to attach that negative sign because it said it's exponential k, and then our r is 0 0.08. That's a percent as a decimal. <clears throat> okay, so if you type this all in, in a good calculator, I'll show you which one I'm going to use. Should be able to do it for you all at once. This is really just a plug and chug problem. There's no extra um, extra math we have to do. I would type in web 2.0 calc if I didn't have one available. Okay, it's a nice free calculator online. It's easy to type in 2449 times e. I don't think you need the time symbol. Raise it to a power and then keep it in parentheses. Negative 0 0.08 times 3. So we got, um, it started with 2,449. Getting reduced to 1,926 sounds pretty reasonable. Okay. Uh, and so to compute the answer to the nearest tenth, I'm going to round that 4 up to a 5. Okay. So just watch out in your, your problem, you might have exponential growth. So change that negative to a positive sign.